All right, good morning, guys. I know you're used to your intro at this point, um, and they don't get me wrong, they're staying, they're going nowhere. But I want to reiterate a point that I made last week. Now, I could take the mick out of EA for what was terrible content on Saturday, but I feel like this time it's more important to say this. Um, we all know the world is currently in lockdown. Most places have some form of restriction on, um, and we kind of got used to it in the last sort of 12 months or so. And the thing with lockdowns is, yes, they're necessary, but they have a detrimental impact on people's mental health. And I want you to know it's okay not to be okay. Um, we have a Discord server with two and a half thousand people in it. It is free to join. It will always be free to join. The link is down below. Feel free to get involved and just come and meet new people. It's a great place to feel part of something. It's a great place to talk when you're not feeling in the best place, I guess. It's moderated brilliantly by my mods, by me, by Dan. Um, and I'm very proud of what you built there. Everyone is welcome to join it. As long as you're not a twat, we're all good. Just join the Discord server and get talking to people. Remember, it is, it's okay just to not be okay. The most important thing though is that you talk to people because it will get better. Things will improve um, and we're all here for you. Everyone's here for you. So like I say, join the Discord server, DM me on Twitter, DM my mods. We can all be there for you. Join an amazing community of people that care about each other. But yeah, for now, let's get into the video. All right, guys, before we get into this video, I want to talk to you about foottrading.co.uk. It's a website run by myself and V273 where we help you guys to make millions of coins on FIFA every single month. I know you guys mentioned that I talk about it a lot in my videos, but the reason for that is the website helps allow us both to be full time. And it means I'm able to bring out three, sometimes four videos a day on YouTube because I can pay for an editor and give those who can't afford the website um, as many trading tips as I possibly can do. £10 a month gets you access to Tier 1, which gives you buying and selling prices for silver cards, special cards, icons, and Thursday flips. Tier 2 is £15 a month. It includes all of Tier 1 and access to live filters, our Chemstar area, which is extremely effective right now. Hundreds of thousands of coins being made every day from there. And our fluctuation area, where we monitor the market for lows and highs, allowing you to make as much coins as possible. So make sure you check it out. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications. And it's never been more important because starting in a 15 minutes, literally 15 minutes from the start of this video, is my YouTube live stream. We are heading over from Twitch to YouTube in the mornings. In the evenings, we'll still be streaming on Twitch. Um, but yeah, essentially, going to be giving you guys live streams, answering your questions live, uh, and continuing to build this insane community that we're building up left, right, and center. So that means you get a YouTube stream every morning at 9.30, three videos a day, and an even stream on Twitch, all the content, all the time. Like I say, three uploads on this channel every single day. This is League FBC Method to Glory. Uh, the evening upload is a trading video, basically teaching you guys how to make coins on this game. And the midnight upload is usually some form of pack content or 6pm content from EA. If it's not that, then we talk about the game. All that good stuff. So make sure you are subscribed. 4,000 subscribers in less than a month. It is utterly insane. I'm extremely thankful. And we're going to keep grinding it out for you guys and giving you guys as much content as I possibly can. But like I say, this is League SBC Method to Glory. Um, and right now I'm at a bit of a loss. So this is a squad that we're running at the moment. And I'm going to be completely and utterly honest with you. Torres is a regret, regret of mine. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't, I didn't rate him for join Weekend League this weekend. I've gone 14 and 5, I think. And he look, if you look at stats, you should think I think I love him. 23 games played, 28 goals, 18 assists. I just don't get on with him. I don't know what it is about him. I don't like him. I'm going to give him a bit more time and see what we do. But I'm just not a massive fan. And it's made me think... Um, about the future in terms of the players that I'm starting to do in SBCs. Because if you look down here, I've got like Politano, Atawa, Alessandrini, but I put some of the SB player SBCs that I did into things like Torres and whatnot. And I'm just being mindful that maybe I think it might be better to hold fodder for longer instead of rushing out and doing these cards. The only flip side to that, obviously, remains that we've got some very good icons on the game at the moment. Now, I do want you guys to tell me what you think I should grind towards in terms of the next what player we do and I don't mind grinding icons even Torres I don't mind grinding Torres because it's a long-term goal and ambition I think Cannavaro is the one that I'd be potentially willing to do Carlos is a no-no I'm not trying to do that in 23 days Cannavaro potentially Akocha is definitely a no as well um but that's potentially one of them and I've seen a couple of comments from people before and newer people I think on the channel saying the videos are, are very samey you have to understand this is a series on league FPC method um basically most of the people that watch this channel are doing the method along with me and they're watching me grind it and eventually getting players out of it. So a lot of it is me crafting uh, players, crafting packs, talking about the, the method itself and stuff like that. So if that's not your sort of content, by all means, there are loads of people that do different stuff on YouTube. Um, but this is the way that this series goes because a lot of the guys that are watching this are grinding League SBC method at the same time. Not I'm agreeing with grinding League SBC method. So basically, yeah, that's essentially what it is at the moment. Um, but plan for today. Now, I want to get Tavernier done sooner rather than later, but I have got four days on him. I'm in no massive, massive rush. But really... What I need to be doing today is thinking about the marquee matchups that came out the other day. 
The big problem with this is that Dortmund players are up, but I think I have one untraded one in my club, so that should be fine. Let's get the marquee matchups done uh, from the other day. I can finish the Libertadores for certain, um, and I can finish off the Sudamericano, I think, or close to anyway. But I do just want to show you one more thing. A lot of you guys have been asking me about how you make coins back from the bonds packs. When you initially open up your bonds packs from this method, you will see your coin total go down quite significantly because you are stacking your club up. But now if you see here, this is me, all the duplicates that I get from the packs that I open up, setting these off now. And they do all sell eventually. It takes a few relistings each time I open up 40k's worth. But there are 80 things on this transfer pile. Now even if you average it out at 20, 200 coins each, which it isn't, it's 16,000 coins back. But like if I show you the importance of checking the price of everything, this random Swedish League Brazilian midfielder, 900 coins on him. Uh, there's another one here, there's Patrick again, Swiss League striker, 600 coins on him. Obviously he likes with Tremoni and whatnot, Milico, those sort of guys here. This Iago Gomez again, 700 coins on him. There's more than 200 coins there. It's, I got back, back, back I think about 22,000 once everything sells. And again, this French manager here for 2,400 coins. Once your club is stacked, you'll see back a lot of this coin that you're spending from selling off the bronze packs and whatever the stuff in the bronze packs that duplicate or worth value. But it's why it's vital to check the price of everything if you don't know what it's selling. Because otherwise you're missing out on very good coins that don't need to go into an upgrade that can go into two more packs. For example, if you put this Yago Gomez, for example, into a, a bronze upgrade, that's one bronze going into that. But if you sold him, it's six bronzes back in the long term. So it's things like that that you've got to be thinking about as you're doing this method. But what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go away and I'm going to complete the Libertadores uh, and get the Sudamericana one that I can get done done. I don't think there's much more in terms of the league SBCs that I can get done today. But we'll definitely be getting marquee matchups done and I will cycle through the major leagues. I think I might have three or four random packs that I can do. Um, so yeah, we'll go have a look, 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 look at that and I'll be right back. All right, guys, and just for as a quick note, a lot of you guys, I've seen a few comments saying, what happens with marquee matchups because it's in that defeating the object of stuck in your club up. Let's say theoretically you've got an SBC like this, which is one Leverkusen player, one Dortmund player. I'll put the minimal amount of Bundesliga players I need to put in the squad and I'll then pad it out with other leagues that don't have SBCs. Or if they do have SBCs and I need to use them, they'll be like the off leagues. So it'll be like Liga Nos, for example, somewhere like that, or Eredivisie. Liga Nos haven't got one yet, I don't think. Um, but either way, that's the way that I pad it out. And then, for example, right now we haven't got the Liga Santander, so I'm quite happy to fill those up. Because again, I'll get these players back in, in packs over time. So that's how I would do it. I'd pad it out that way. With the lower league, for example, the lower ones, for, I think there's a uh, Super League one here. I'll then go and find a random league, like League 1 or League 2, and pad them out those sort of players. That's how you try and keep your, your League SBC players away from putting too much into this, if that makes sense. You don't want to be putting too many League SBC players into it. So spread it out amongst leagues and whatnot to make sure you get the rating. But yeah, going to compete to continue to do marquee matchups. I've just realised I can do... The Champions League, I've only got one team left to do for that. It's going to be a little bit spendy to buy the last bit, but we'll, have to, we'll do it anyway. I can definitely finish the Libertadores off as well. Um, and Leicester and Southampton I can definitely do from the Premier League. So we'll do marquee matchups and the Leicester and Southampton. We'll open those up and then we'll do the... Um, my little check report here. The Champions League and Libertadores SBC stuff. So I'll be right back once I've got all that done. All right, guys. And so this is marquee matchups done along with Leicester and Southampton. And we've got one of the Sudamericanas done. I thought I might as well show you that at the same time um, as we're doing it. So we've got eight packs on this set here to open up. Oh, nine, nine actually. Um, but all, all this again, anything we get from this goes towards getting Tavernier done. That's one of the SBCs that I definitely want to do because it makes completely out of sense for me to do it. Um, I just want to be mindful that I'm not just doing player SBCs for the sake of doing it. Like I don't want to stock too much follow up for too long. I think that's a Sudamericana card. Pretty sure it is. Um, it's a good Sudamericana card as well. This guy's, these guys just have the decent value, the higher rated guys, which is very good. Um, all of this is not bad at all. Quite a lot of League SBC stuff there. That can go to club. We've got Alario, who's not tradable. Miranda, who's not tradable, I believe. Miranda can go up there. We'll get rid of Alario for now. Um, Jumbo Gold Pack. What else we got here? Premium Mix, Electron Rare Mix, more Rare Gold. Well, we'll go Jumbo Gold Pack, then a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. We'll get those ones done. But then we should be able to complete the Champions League SBC. We should be able to complete the Libertadores SBC. So a couple of very good packs of that. A lot of you guys are asking as well why I'm not pack stacking. I do not pack stack at any point because for me it kills League SBC method if you pack stack for too long. So what I tend to do is just keep opening up as I go. I'm going to list this up because sometimes they sell. Um, is I keep going because throughout the whole of the team of the year then I can just keep opening up packs. In my opinion you don't need to pack stack um, for team of the years if you're doing League, League SBC method. There are people that aren't doing League SBC method in which case I understand why you would pack stack. But for someone like me there isn't that much of a point. Uh, again, good League SBC set players here. There's quite a few from the Premier League, which is good. Again, I get rid of all my untradeable stuff here. I don't like my club being cl clogged up with crap that I'm not going to use. Send that to club. Quick sell the rest for nothing. 
Um, what else we've got here? So we've got prim Premium Electrum. Let's do the Premium Electrum Players Pack. We've actually got some fairly solid packs. So again, it'd be nice, a little bit more fodder is what we're looking for. There isn't really anything in packs as we get aboard. There isn't really anything in packs right now that makes me overly excited. Um, this is going to be... Oh, Nelson Smedo. Nice. We'll take that. Um, there isn't much in packs to get excited for. Headliners are out of packs. There's no Team of the Year nominees at the moment. We, we, actually, we don't even know if they're coming, to be fair, as we pop these guys up there to be sold on. Um, but again, fodder is what I'm looking for here, realistically, so I'm not too stressed about that. We'll do the small, rare mixed players pack. Anything again in this would be glorious. No board, so we'll skip. Think this is untradeable, this pack. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. No, it's tradable, that's fine. Ben Pearson can go up there. And again, so you'll see some spend on doing the FBCs, but then we get tradable players back that we sell on again. We'll do the premium gold players pack next. Then this, the small rare gold. No, we'll do the rare mixed. Although well, I quite like a rare mixed pack. Premium gold players pack for once has got a port in it. I hate these packs. I think they're terrible. Belgian. Cam. It's going to be nine Golan. Again, not too bad. Um, probably one of the ones that I might sell if he's tradable. It's an 83 rated card. He's got some decent value. Um, so he's the sort of one of those 83s that I go and sell to put back into this method. Put these guys up there to sell on as well. We'll do the rare mixed, then the small rare gold, and then the prime gold players pack. A board again in this rare mix. Again, stacking the fodder up, which is very good. It's going to be Portuguese again. It's going to be goalkeeper this time. It's going to be Anthony Lopez. I don't think I have him already. I'm pretty sure I don't. I think this pack's tradable either way, but it is tradable anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Again, a few League SBC guys in there. Not too many, though. Uh, Flores can go up there for now. Small rare gold players pack is our next pack. We do get a walkout, but it's a UCL walkout, so it could be absolutely nothing. Argentinian, striker, it's going to be Icardi. I mean, it's an 85 rated. It's not quite It's not quite a walkout. It's, an, it's a Champions League walkout. Why these walkout, I don't know. Um, but again, an 85 rated card I would take. And also, because it's a Champions League variant of that card, and Jao Cancelo and Matuidi. What a pack that is. That is a sensational pack. That pack, most of those cards there, like Cancelo and whatnot, this will all be sold. Matuidi will probably... No, Matuidi's going as well. He thinks to Higuain. Um, so all of that will be sold now to make back a huge amount of coins that we've just spent. So basically most of our coin spend is gone. Um, and then Prime Gold Players Pack to end off marquee matchups for this week. Again, fingers crossed we can get something decent from this pack as well. And of course, the 45k pack gives us nothing. No surprise there. They are absolutely terrible. I've never been a fan of the 45k packs. But again, we're stocking the club up with more players and that's what we're looking to do. But that is marquee matchups done. That's Leicester and Southampton done and one of the Sudamericana. I know I can now go do the Champions League. And Libertadores, so I'll go and convert those guys over. And if I can do any of their next squads, we'll do, that, do those two. So what we'll do is we'll complete them, and then I'll run you through if we're going to do any more of them. I will be right back. All right, guys, so the Libertadores completed yet again. Um, I might be able to do the Brazil squad. I'm going to have a little look now while you're here and see if we can. Um, I just want to see... I don't, we can't do any of the, uh, the other ones, but this one here, we may well be able to complete. We need Brazil players minimum six, rare players minimum five. It's relatively easy, but I don't really like using League SBC guys in these ones. Um, so we've got like Ishmaili who could go in potentially. Yeah, we should be able to do this. I'm going to go and try and get the Brazil squad done. Um, and then we will head over, open those packs up, and then maybe do Champions League one afterwards. I will see you then. All right, guys. So we managed to go and get the mega pack done, the Brazil squad. It was pretty easy in the end, to be fair. Uh, so we'll start with silver pack. And again, we're just looking to cycle up. I have noticed my cards club's a little bit dry, which is why I did some bronze packs today. But my club is a little bit dry at the moment. So... Obviously, opening these packs up will stack up other teams potentially, um, but I probably will need to grind some bronze packs this week, without a doubt, to get the club back to where I want it to be. Because uh, at the moment, it's not quite where I want it to be. And that's a very nice hit. The LAFC kit sells for a lot of coins. Uh, usually 4,000 to sweet spots. We'll take 4,000 coins for a kit from that pack. And again, it's why I say to you, check every single kit you get. Not all of them sell. This one here, I've seen it sell a couple of times, but I don't think it actually sells as much as people think it does. But Brazil kits, Brazilian league kits, do tend to sell for a bit more than... The other kits do, but make sure you just check them. Even if you're not going to sell them, just give it one chance, see if it sells. If it doesn't sell, then fine. Uh, but check the price of everything, absolutely everything in your packs, because that's where you get a huge amount of value back from this method. Um, we'll do a small Electron Players Pack, Electron Players Pack, 35k, and then jum Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack. So a small Electron has nothing in it, unsurprisingly, but didn't really expect much in it, to be fair. We'll send that to Club, Goodelge, and Briand can go up there. Electron Players Pack. Again, I packed a couple of good things out of this last year. I doubt it again this year, but you never do know. No board in this one. Why haven't yet packed? I keep saying this is an icon. I'm seeing people doing this grind and packing icons left, right and centre. I'm literally not packing them. And it's really starting to annoy me. I want an icon. Um, 
35k pack though. Can we do something good with this? No board in that one, but it is a Libertadores card, I think, which is always nice. So there could be a board behind it. There is a board behind it. 85 Diego Godin. We'll take that all day long. And again, so when you're factoring in the, the value in your club, there you go. It's not 15,000 coins worth of fodder sitting and chilling there, which is good. James Tavernier looking at me there as if he's saying, hurry up and do my SBC. We'll probably get it done in the next episode, most likely. That's when I think the most likely time to get that done is going to be. Um, Kalu can go there. We'll send this to club. Again, there's not been enough there for me to think about a pick. To grind it out again. But Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack. One of the worst packs in the game again in terms of value. But you never do know. It might be nice one day. They are being nice. We get a walkout from it. So we'll take it all day long. It's going to be English. It's going to be Striker. It's going to be Harry Kane. No, it's not going to be Jamie Vardy. Baited out. But again, that's perfect for Tavernier. Jamie Vardy is very, very good fodder for Tavernier. We potentially could think about getting Tavernier done today now with that. Jade Madison that links into him. The rest of the pack's pretty average. Not too bad. Fabianski. Awesome. We'll see what's tradable here. Uh, anything that isn't can go into a player pick without a doubt. The 80-plus player pick. I think a lot of this is going to be untradeable, as far as I can tell. And it pretty much is all... Uh, every single one of those players there is untradeable. So I'm going to go and put those somehow into one or two player picks. However, I'm, I can find a way to do it, I will do it. And then we're going to show you guys the Champions League FPC being completed for another 50k pack. Uh, so it's packed galore today, so no one can complain about pack content. I will be right back. Alright guys, so this is us completing Champions League. We get premium election players pack from this which is tradable, and we'll get a 50k pack for completing the Champions League League SBC. Um, I might be able to go and complete, there's a one at the beginning, which is the PSG Bayern one. I might be able to do that as well. And potentially one of these two here, I don't know if I actually can, but potentially one of these guys here in terms of six or seven, because you don't need as many, but I'm not sure about that. But I may be able to complete this one. So again, I'm going to go away, try and get that done. We'll then open up all the packs we've just put together, and then hopefully potentially do Tavernier, get him finished. If we can't get Tavernier done today, it will definitely be in the next episode for sure. I will be right back. All right, guys. So, three packs. We did manage to get the um, the PSG buying one done in the end. We stuck um, Javi Martinez in there and then just built the Spanish side. Got the two player picks from these guys that were left over as well to do. These, are, I feel like, have been quite heavily nerfed as I go and get 85 Leno. Um, I feel like these have been quite heavily nerfed, but then I'm saying that now. I think here I'm going to take the, the, the Team of the Week. Again, it's annoying me that we've not got any Team of the Weeks and you have to part of Team of the Weeks. EA giving us continual untradeable content, but nowhere to put it is a bit ridiculous. But Leno85 is very good. Again, should help to go towards Tavernier. We'll start off with the Premium Election Pack. That was for the first or the last one of the um, of the Champions League ones. And from that, we don't get a board, but I, I'm not surprised. This is tradable, I believe, though. So either way, whatever's in here that's under duplicate can be sold on. Some decent bits in there again. So we'll send that to there. We'll send the rest up to... The transfer pile, a lot to sell at the end of this episode. A lot of coins to make back from that. From all the stuff we bought, been able to make it back in terms of good coin value. Mega pack. Does have a board, which is good to see. Very, very good to see. It's going to be a Brazilian board. It's going to be a Cam. It's going to be Oscar, I assume. I feel, feel like I've got Oscar. I, can't, I feel like I always pack him. And I always say I've got him. And I don't have him. Yeah, I don't have Oscar. I always feel like I do have him and I don't. We'll leave Wilder. We'll leave the manager. Because I might have to sell my one I've got in a club. We'll get all those bits and bobs there. Jenna, you tradable. You are. Vasalko, you tradable. You're not. Odrizola, you tradable. You're not. Right, cool. So I'm going to go and do one more player pick now with these guys here. We'll put Jenny up there. Vasalko and Odrizola can go into a player pick. And yeah, then I'll be right back. All right, guys. And so next pick. Going to be Daily Blim. We'll take him for now. Uh, we'll send that stuff to club. And then there's a 50k pack to open up. Hopefully, again, we can get something good from it. So far today, so good. Lots of fodder. I can't really complain. Really can't complain at all. Um, we'll see what we get in this one. So it's a Libertadores card, so there may be a board behind the Libertadores player. It's not guaranteed, though, obviously. Luca, Lucas Moura is all right. I'm quite happy with that. It's not too bad. The Libertadores player, Lucas Moura. I see him in Benton Kerr as well for the, the uh, Champions League SPC, which is decent. Uh, the RB and Ibai Gomez. I need stuff, stuff tradable here. I don't think Piatti is either. Ibai Gomez is. So the RB and Piatti can go into another pick. I'll go and do that now. And then outside of that, it's basically going to see if we can get Tavernier done. So I'll, I'll basically get to Tavernier, get the player pick done, and we'll go from there. I will be right back. All right, guys. So in terms of rating, I can do Tavernier. But in terms of chemistry, not. And I don't really want to go and rush him. I don't need to. I've got four days. I'm not so I want to see what next few days. Really Salento, thank you for the follow. I want to see what the next few days brings in terms of the players that we get or whatever. And try and do it as, as, as I guess... As, as loyal to the method, as true to the method as possible. I don't want to go and have to buy someone right now. I don't need to do that. 
it's, it's very little chemistry that I need, but I don't want to go and buy someone random for the team. We've got three or four days to get him done, so I'm in no massive rush. Have I taken Gelson Martins from that pick purely because I need to do Monaco? I know they're one of the teams I need to do. That helps me out massively. I'll send all that to club, but I will show you Tavernier in, in terms of, you can see the fodder all stats up on him, but it's getting chemistry and stuff like that and moving cards around. So I want to just give it a day or two, see where we have to get to with rating and chemistry and all that sort of stuff. So like I said, we're in no rush. We are, we are legitimately in no rush whatsoever. Tavernier is going to be here for three or four days. If I have to, I'll go and get the players I need. But for now, I don't really need to do that as such. Uh, but that is the end of this video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications and all that good stuff. Do not forget, YouTube stream starts pretty much right now on YouTube. So get involved. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.